Well, it's a rock climbing advocacy group, and it's right here in Colorado Springs. As Justin says, this is the rock climbing. Right. That's how he would do it. Man. Yeah. Mm. We're talking about Pikes Peak Climbers Alliance, and Laura McDonald joins us now with more on the organization helping keep rock climbers safe. Yeah, guys, thanks so much. We are here at Garden of the Gods learning all about safe rock climbing. I'm joined now by Ryan Chelstowski. Ryan, thanks for being here this morning. We love having you out here teaching us safe climbing methods. Now, we're going to get into what you guys look for on the rocks when you are replacing um, the clips. Okay. Yeah, so we're going to brush the opening of the can of worms here. Okay. So, essentially, in different areas, you have different pins that have been placed. A long time ago. So this looks like an old school one right here. These are some old school cats here. So this is a piton that was driven into the rock. Uh, as you can see, it's heavily corroded. Um, it's losing its uh, its stability as far as a piece of protection. Uh, this is an old bolt hanger, tiny, tiny, thin, thin steel that was used. Um, and what we're doing is we're kind of taking and assessing these areas and seeing is this still safe. And if we feel, hey, it's probably not still too good, what we're going to do is we're going to go in with the consent of different landowners and different land managers and actually go in and ask for permission and work on replacing them with heavy-duty stainless uh, fixed hardware that makes it safer for all the climbing community to get out there. Well, i got to tell you, I appreciate you because if I was climbing way high up on this rock, I would much rather be supported by this than this old guy right here. Now. Uh, replacing the pins is not all you guys do. We're on a trail that you actually maintain. Absolutely. So this trail specifically is a trail that leads up to New Era. It's a very popular trail. As you can look up here, you're going to see a lot of different check dams, uh, built-in rock feature steps, all that kind of stuff to try and uh, manage the erosion that's happening in this area. And this has been an ongoing process. We work hand-in-hand -hand with the Rocky Mountain Field Institute. Uh, they're a great partner of ours, and they have a lot of great resources. Uh, and we kind of combine and do a lot of volunteer efforts and get the community involved to help rebuild the trails. Keeping everybody safe. And also climbers can, if they see something loose, they can contact you and you guys will come out and replace it. Absolutely. We'll come out, assess the damage and see whether it needs to be replaced and do a, a report on it. Perfect. Pikes Peak, Pikes Peak Climbers Alliance watching your back out here on the big mountains in Colorado. Thanks so much for joining us, Ryan. Guys, back to you. You know, I agree with Lauren. Thanks for what you do, because if I was up there... <laughs> Absolutely. And I don't know how this, all this, could be supported by a pin the size of this yeah, I don't going know. into a rock. Yeah. Who knows? It's pretty it's, crazy. Well, <laughs> well, for those of you...